So for part three, we're only going to do example one, by the way. Um, but here we go. Um, Farmer Twine, Twiner, Twiner wishes to construct a rectangular chicken pen using his barn for one of the sides. The other three sides will be constructed out of 80 meters of chicken wire. He can make this pen a variety of shapes, long and thin, short and fat, square, or any shape in between. We want to determine which rectangular shape will give him the maximum area, okay? All right, this question is going to really help you on one of your assignment questions. So um, here we go. In total, how much does he have? 80. He has 80 meters to use, right? So he has 80 meters to use to cover this, this, and that, right? So two of them have to be the same. Does that make sense? So my lengths are going to be the same. My width is going to be its own. I think width is wide. It doesn't, really matter which one's it doesn't really matter, but I think width is wide. Like my width of my hips does not go like this. So Ooh, you're right. um, it's just my logic. But. My brain, I always think length is longer, width is longer. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think. Oh, you automatically think it's yeah. no. 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 Your length is usually like how long something is. How tall. Or yeah, how tall. Yeah, that's why I think of it as long. You can be tall and wide, you can be short and wide. All right, so what that is, is the perimeter, right? And we know that together, they can't equal, they have to equal what? 80. 80. 80. So we have 80 equals 2L plus W. Agreed? Mm -hmm. But his goal is to find the maximum what? Area. Area. And area equals what? Length, length. length times width. Would it not be the same? You have the same amount of We'll see. Okay, so the key thing here is to create one function. Well, this is two separate functions happening, right? I need to make them come together, okay? In order for them to come together, that means I have to substitute one in for the other. So easily here, we can easily get W by itself. How can I get W by itself? Subtracting. So I now know that W equals... 80 minus 2L. Yes? So therefore, area can equal my length. But instead of putting W, I can put what? 80 minus, 20, 80 minus 2L. So now I have my one function. Does that make sense? So I took two functions and made them friends. That would simplify that so much. I would have had to think about that for years. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to go to the graph. Ready to graph it? Yes. In the graph, can we put L's in? No, but we can put X. So we're going to go to the graph. I'm going to reset. And we have X times 80 minus 2X. <sighs> My glasses are foggy. That was one of the biggest downfalls of wearing a mask. I know I hated that so much. The fog. Um, I don't feel good. And I didn't want to, you know, spread germs. All right. So what do I need to do? I need to change my window, do a little bit of zooming out. I'm gonna change the window. I get I'm I'm too impatient for zoom. So I need to bring my Y. Let's make it a hundred and see what happens. That didn't help. Two hundred. Nope. A thousand. A thousand worked. From your line? Yeah, I went all up to a thousand. All right, so here's my graph. So I go from here to here to here. Wait, how do you do that? Huh? How do you mark it? You just click on it and it marks the points. What the heck? <laughs> That's cool. Deal. Deal. All right. So now we have our graph. graph. And I'm going to be a, even lazier. Sorry. Just don't feel like doing it right now. There it is. It's so beautiful. 
the best graph I've ever drawn. Look at that. All right. <laughs> What's my domain? Zero to 40. Okay. What's my range? Zero to 800. Zero to 800. Only in this window? So only in quadrant one, what is the domain and range for our data? Is there anyone like, I don't know where y'all got those numbers from? Are we okay? We're good. We're good? All right, let's figure it out. So it says, what is the maximum area that can be enclosed? What's our maximum area? 800, right? Our maximum area that we can enclose is 800 square meters. Okay, the reason being is that our x-axis represents our what? Our length, mm -hmm. right? That's our length. Our y-axis, what was our A? A stands for area. So therefore, this is our length. And at this length, we get this, this area, okay? So then it asks, what are the dimensions? All right, well, if I know my length, so what was our length that gave us our maximum area? 20. So we know that L equals 20 meters. And what did we say W equal? We said W equal 80 minus two times L. So W equals 80 minus two times 20. So W equals 80 minus 40, which is 40 meters. So our, our length would have to be 20 meters and our width would have to be 40 meters. All right, talk to me about it. It makes sense. Okay. Like the linear width. I have to look at it. No, I okay. think it will make sense. I'm just scared about finding a function part. The function it's part? Talk, you have like the same amount of perimeter. It's going to be different areas. Yes, right. because the shape is changing. So you're covering different different amounts. It's still the same amount of perimeter, so how is it? I'm still enclosing it in a different way. Like if, um, let's go to back to the graph. So here it's saying that I can have a, so what was 10? Did anyone see it? 600. So my length is 10. Do we see that? So my length is 10, but my area is only what? 600. That's because I made it a different amount of a different size. So yes, I'm using all of my wire, but I'm making it either bigger or smaller and it's covering different area. Like you can have multiple rooms that are the same area, but they're going to be different shape. Yeah. Right? Does that make sense? So like I can have a 40 square foot room, but one may be 10 by four, right? One may be five by eight. When you're talking to the maximum area here, I'm wondering how the area changes. Your area is going to change because how you determine your length and your width, they're going to, they determine your area. So I can make my fence. So if I have 40 feet, right? I have 40 feet of fencing. It's better if I do it on a grid. Clear. How do I clear this? Make a new one. Make a new one. So we're going to use these squares because I need them in order to show you. So looking at these squares right here, this is so one, two, three, four, five, right? This is a five by five, right? So the area is 25. A equals 25, and the perimeter is what? The perimeter is 20. P equals 20, right? I can make another another shape that has a perimeter of 20, right? What if I have a two by eight? So I'm gonna make a two by eight. So this is a two by eight, right? What is the perimeter of that two by eight? It's still what? 20. 20. But what is the area of it now? 16. Your perimeter can be the same, but your area will not be. 
It's it's like, geometry. That it's right, but that it's still it's geometry. Like, it's construction. Yeah. Like I see that work. Like I see how that works. Yeah. Mathematically, but that still makes no sense to me how that would, like work. It's because I'm I'm taking the string or the material and I'm using it to go long ways and I'm going coming in shorter. Or if I was arranging tables and the yeah. tables are gonna now it only sits six people instead of sitting sitting eight people. But I'm still using the same number of tables. I see how that it works out, but I don't think it's gonna like make sense in my head. Oh well so you can have the same perimeter, but the areas are gonna be yeah, different. Are... Yeah. I have a question. Yes. Why uh why is the why is the why is the 